Have a nice day. You have got to get a better trick. Hey, guys! Look it! Let's try it! it it's really easy! Uh. Oh. All right! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Check it out! All you have to do is look where you want to go, and boom! You're there! Uh. Hi! Uh, hi. I, I think I'll just be... Guys, move! I need it! It's the Brain Suckers! No! Watch it! Yeah, this is great! Na 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 na, just try and catch you up! Hey, I'm cool, I got it! The cloud your tush will be, as long as you wipe with Sanny G. Are you okay? Those weirdo girls are gaining! What a wipeout! <laughs> Don't you get it? Wipeout? Very funny. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. I'm Samantha, and that's Jody and Freddy. So, do you want to come to my house? Why would we go anywhere with you? Because we're your... Because we have food. So what kind of food exactly? Do you have pizza? I pretty much like anything as long as it's pizza. Uh, except for those anchovy thingies. You'll see. Ready? Laugh. It's not your fault you're so incredibly feeble. So what's with the band-aid? Is it holding your face in place? This? It's my music. It scans my retina, senses my mood, and plays what I want to hear. It takes a minute to warm up. As soon as it picks up a strong emotion, it'll start to play. Not bad! Are you ready to eat? You dragged us over here just to make us eat slugs? No. There was another reason, actually. Hey, this is my worksheet. How did you get this? Turn it over. Girls, meet us under Teddy Roosevelt's statue at the Museum of Natural History on September 17th, 2105. It's a matter of life and death. Sincerely, Joe, Sam, and Fred. I didn't write that. Where did you get this? From a book? I'll tell this part. <laughs> when I turned 10, I got a book from my uncle. It's something that's been passed down in my family for centuries. In fact, about one century ago, it was given to my great-grandfather. You! Oh, no. Hello! Well, uh, nice meeting you, but we're due back in a normal town. Bye! It's true! And you're my great-grandfather. And Samantha is this... <sighs> okay, so we fainted. And so would you if you suddenly met someone who was born after you died. So anyway, we finally started to believe the girls. Because the truth is, they look sort of familiar. Hey! You guys can tell us stuff, like who's going to win the World Series for the next hundred years. Are you kidding? That's completely against the rules. Don't you know what could happen if you possess information that could affect the future? Okay, whatever. Our main problem was that we had no way to get home. Their book disappeared when we arrived, and our book was stuck in the museum. But Samantha had the answer right up her sleeve. It's a pocket watch. It used to belong to you. I've added some stuff, and I'm pretty sure we can just dial ourselves back in time. Hey, so what are we waiting for? I'm starved. Let's go. Hey, I'll take you home. I've always wanted to see where I came from. All set? <laughs> that was weird. Look, it's Blackbeard. Don't worry, it's under control. Oh, hey, we missed you guys. Great to be back!
Can you jiggle it if I hold this thing? The hour hand is stuck. Oh, would you give me that? Bottom of the ninth, Yankees six, Red Sox five. New York just needs one more out, and they win the pennant. Yes, that's more like it. So we're in 2106. Guys, where's Samantha? Shh, here comes the pitch. Whoa, amazing! And the Yankee curse continues! No! Come on, we have to find Samantha. Hey, what are you doing here? Are you okay? Where's Samantha? We don't know. She disappeared. Okay, that was weird. One minute I was standing in the middle of a cavalry charge, and then it felt like I was made of air. It was like my arms, my legs, my whole body just vanished. Uh, newsflash, those shoes you borrowed, they're gone too. <gasps> ah! Where are my legs? Where are my shoes? Oh my gosh, don't you get it? We're here in 2105, and we can't get home, right? When we warped into the future, into 2106, Samantha vanished. Get it? Ah, just think about it. What would happen if we got stuck here and couldn't get home? What would next year look like? We'd be there, but Samantha, Freddy, and Jody wouldn't exist. In order for them to be born, we'd have to go home, get married, and have kids. My hair does not look like that. Hey, this is serious. We have to get the book or you are toast. Okay, here's the plan. The girls go this way, and we'll go that way. Once inside, we'll blend in with the crowd. Yeah? Then what? That's as far as we got. Ay, ay. Come on. People were absolutely convinced that the Loch Nessosaurus did not exist. But in the year 2056, scientists were rewarded with this remarkable find. Wow! I thought the Loch Ness Monster was a hoax. All right, everyone. On to the historical exhibit. So just remember that 100 years ago, children had to download data by visually scanning words or pictures. That's hard to believe. No kidding. It was terrible. Now let's head to the 1900s.